What's going on guys, Demonic Wolf here, and we're playing some Broken Age. New game. Save one. Alright, let's see how this works. Meow. 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 Okay, what's this? Two people. One in bed, one on a tree. And a blanket goes on. Seems like future over here and past over here, I think. What am I supposed to do? Wake up. Wake your bitch ass up. Oh, never mind. Don't wake up. Just go over here. Okay, um... Hold up. I need to, like, turn on subtitles and stuff. Okay, so there is an auto save feature. Okay, cool. Resume. Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. <laughs> the cupcakes, that's adorable. I love that. Are you out here, Vela? Are you out here, Vela? Oh, this is a click game. I like those. <clears throat> Come on, Vela, everybody's waiting for you. Worried that I chickened out? No! I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait, I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm gonna beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! Oh, that's adorable! Go on, Bella. We gotta win. We can't let her win. Oh, she called us slow. I'm a fighter. Like, I'm gonna actually fist fight this kid. Sugar bunting. Okay, Where the sweetness is baked right in. Haha, I win. I fast forwarded, so that means that I win. Hello? Um, hello? Shh. Oh no, it's dark. Surprise! Surprise! Whoa. Yay! There is my Valoria. Oh, Ooh, that's a name. My pretty girl. I can't believe Valoria. I that's just a can't name. believe. If you guys hear my cat in the background, uh, I apologize. I she's been having a little bit of trouble with these past few days. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Oh, she she's my favorite. After cake? Come on, cake first! Alright, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. <sighs> nope, he's my favorite. Hey, Grandpa. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> Beastender? Do you know where Mom's knife is? Do you know where is? Mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help with this shame feast. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. Where'd you hide it? Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> Um. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brommel. <laughs> Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors! It's a travesty, Bella! Why'd we stop being warriors? Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed, pushed for appeasement. So we went soft, became a town of bakers. You want a cupcake? Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, um yes. I better go <laughs> that knife. <laughs> want a cupcake? Yes. Maybe we gotta give him a cupcake and he'll tell us where the knife is. Let's talk to her first. Not there. Yep, Levina, walk around the cave. What is it, girl? Um, any idea where mom's knife is? Any idea where mom's knife is? We're late. If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already. Oh. Can I ask, Can you, I about ask the you about the maiden's feast? Aren't you paying attention in maiden training? Oh. Why was, I, Why chosen? was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, 
The villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. <laughs> you can fight me. All right, I'm leaving. Okay. I think I know all I need to know about the maiden's feast. <laughs> she all you need to me. know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. That was so mean. Where would I? <laughs> Town's best qualities, so beats Grandpa me. Grandpa Beastender? Oh, I forgot to grab him a... I forgot to grab him a cupcake. I'm dumb. I Give I me a cupcake. I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? Wait, where's the cupcakes? Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> there's Don't the touch the red ones. Mom made those just for me. You're going to eat all of those? I've already had six! Oh my that god. That explains a lot. I've already had six. Eat the one you've got before you grab another. Mom, oh, I grab it's your special day. Let her have all the cupcakes she wants. Except the red ones. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> hey, Gramps. Hey, want a Gramps, cupcake? Want a cupcake? Oh, no. Yes. Yes. I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> How do I open up my inventory? If there was a day to splurge, it's today. <sighs> For me? For you, Grandpa. Don't mind if I do. Wait, why did it not... Need a towel, Grandpa? Why? Do I look like some old drooling invalid to you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about background noise and stuff. Sorry I'm not talking a whole bunch either. It's just I'm trying to figure yeah, out some stuff. Why not? Like, uh, Definitely so what is going on? Why does Grandpa hate For the me? thing so much? Like, why did we stop being... Split it with you? Split it with you? Deal. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Oh, okay. That was the knife. He just tossed it on the... Okay, we'll split another one, Grandpa. I love you. Mom and Dad will be hurt if there are any left over. Think, Morelia. For me? Split it with you. Split it with you? Deal. I'm reading a lot of the white ones. Give me that. On knife. second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? Yeah, uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. Har 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 har. It's just got to be. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time, honey? Why don't we just kill Mog Chothra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here! <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. Wait, what? What? I don't want to die. What? I really, really don't want to die, guys. To behold, all inspiring, powerful. Mysterious. What? But Mog Chopra is more than that. Merciful and generous, Mog Chopra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chopra, and make your selections. I want to die. Maiden's feast. Show him what you're made of, Bella. I know he'll pick you! This can't be right. No, it's not right! For one thing, I 
should be in the center. Ha! <laughs> I make myself the center of any room I'm in. Center of mass, maybe. It's hard to tell where the dress ends and the cake starts. But the dress ends right there, cake starts right no. there. Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chathra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Wanna trade Wanna something, trade for, the something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Um... Need a towel? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzard! I will fuck you alive if you come near my food again! Okay, never mind. I can talk never to mind. the other girl. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. Sorry. I can talk to her. Beauty is nothing without a little. Hey, I've got a plan. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopper with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Regardless, I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. I should have grabbed a cupcake. No! I give my life! No, me! Sheesh. <laughs> Is that Cthulhu? That looks like Cthulhu. Here I am, merciful King Mog Chothra. I guess it's Mog Chothra. No! This way, Great One! I am the one you've come so far to find! Over here! I am in blue for you! See? He's drawn to the flame, like a giant moth! What? No way! He's coming my direction! Please, don't be hasty in your decision, my lord. Oh yes, take your time, look over all your options, and then after some careful consideration... It's me. <gasps> well, I'm glad it's not me. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? How about something bubbly to wash it down? Actually, I could use a swig of something. Okay, I'll see what I can get you. All right, cool. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. I know now what to that's do. That's not gonna trade. Slush, Peter. That water? Hmm. Trade you for that sweet corset you've got on. Never can be too thin. This horrible thing? You got a deal. Ooh, what a relief. I feel so much. Oh, I'm sorry. But this thing's just too big for me. Trade back. Oh, that poor girl. I have a treat for you! 
Can I borrow that bottle one more time? Can I borrow that bottle one more time? Keep it. Thanks. I don't need it where I'm going. Because I'm not going to die. They can all die, but I'm not going to die. Mom Chats were the victim. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? How about something bubbly to wash it down? Well, thanks. Don't mind if I... Ah! Look at me! I'm soaked! Oh, God. wanted to say good luck. Bye. Uh, a little help here? I've got a towel here if you throw me that drumstick. You have a towel? Why didn't you say so? Oh, <laughs> how long have you been standing there? Good. Are you part vulture or something? Right you. Here, Birdie. Oh, come on. So close. How? Grab the drum set. Dang it. Still out of reach. Wait, wait, I have stuff. Um. How can you think about food at a time like this? That drumstick is so greasy it would slip right off. It's not long enough. It. Clap those big blue wings. Come on, girl. Give it all you've got. It's hard to tell where the dress ends and the cake starts. Hey, how about we split this cupcake? You can have the bottom half. Get back here, are you crazy brat! That's my girl! She's doomed us all! Mog Chaka's fury will soon rain down upon our village! Yes! Yes! That is what I call fun. So I'm guessing that my quest is to slay Magashathra. So I just realized that course it had to have tightened around. The art style of this is so cool though. <laughs> we got a little posse. This is so cool. Is that a city in the clouds? Where'd the bird go? <sighs> That knife is going right into my head. Oh my god. <clears throat> Where'd my knife go? brought back a girl with her. Ooh, a new recruit. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. Gross. That's all I have to say about that, just gross. What's up? Yeah, help Can me. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So... That's why you smell like frosting. 
What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. Uh, this uh friend of mine escaped from the maiden's feast. This, really messing up. Uh, friend of mine escaped the maiden's feast. Really messed things up. She what? What kind of selfish monster would run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Hopefully the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Well, she thought she could fight Mog without Chathra instead of feeding it. Well, she just thought maybe she could fight Mog Chathra instead of feeding it. Well, I hope they put her in jail. I hope I meet her someday so I can poke her with my stick! Um... Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes, it's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please! Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed! How do I get to Shell Mound? How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink? <laughs> Look, I need to get to I need to get to Mog Chathra, quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Hmm. Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Who are you guys? Who are you guys? <coughs> We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. Who's Jesse? That big blue oligo you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Oh, that's out. not good. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Okay, well, I think I need to leave. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Wow. Stay on the twigs or you'll... Eat a pig! No freestyling, Chit. Sorry, Pop. Wait, what happens if I don't stay on the path? I want to go right here. Oh, okay, so it's like actually dangerous. Okay, so now I know. Um, let's go get some cloud shoes. Hey, sweetheart. Careful. Ah. I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Sorry. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> so, uh, what's your name? So, what's your name? Carl. Carl. Carl? No. Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. Hey, hey, asked about the weird can guys I ask down you there? about those weird guys down there? Uh, my husband and son? Uh, what did they do this time? I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony. I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. Okay, okay enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? Um... Can't make you cats can't make them, cats huh? without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did, until you came along. 
Well, she's mean. You make shoes out of you clouds? You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no, shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about that. Wait, I know this. Buoyancy is all about area, I think. Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Okay, um, hey, can you make hey, me a pair? Hey, can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. I'll go find your knife. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. No, oh, my work. Where did my knife go? Because it went the same exact place as I did, so that means it must be up here, right? Um, let's go this way. Let's go get onto Hi, a path. I'm Mag Maggie. Hey, why are you just walking away like that? That's pretty. Hey, Maggie. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing. What did you say your what name was? What did you say your name was? McGee. It's Maggie, <clears throat> but without the A. My dad's idea. Don't you mind that your dad took the A out of your name? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but my dad said, Hey, losing an A is better than losing an I. <laughs> your dad's pretty creepy. Your dad's pretty creepy. He wasn't before he joined this cult. Oh, whoops, did I say that too loud? Your dad's in a cult? Your dad's in a cult? That's kind of uh, weird. He's just taking this light beard worship a little what too What the hell far. is a light beard worship? It's okay. At least it got him out of his line dancing phase. The hell is light beard? Okay, well, I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. I need to go find light beard. Because, like, I need to understand what the hell is going on here. That is an egg. That is one heavy looking egg. Um, there's nothing over here for me. Those don't look like Jesse's. Better leave them alone. Wanna give me a lift? No? Hey. Hi, Birdie. So I think that that might be it. So I need to go get those cloud shoes, but to get the cloud shoes, I need to find a knife. To find a knife, I need. I think I need to get past Jesse, but to get past Je Yeah, okay, so this is a complicated little thing. about these? Hi. Those don't look like Jesse's. Better leave them alone. My knife. Hey. Well, hey, that's my knife. Good thing it didn't land on anybody. Good to see you again. Hey, how's it going? Um. So what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? No, um... What are you doing exactly? What are you doing exactly? I'm taking care of these eggs. If it weren't for me, they'd uh get dusty or something. Okay, what kind of bird lays hey, those golden what eggs? What kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those are egg substitutes. We make them for the older senile girls who forget they don't have eggs. Um Why are they made of gold? It's the heaviest stuff we have. We want them to be heavy, so the gulls can't carry them off and lose them. Hey, nice cloud shoes. Hey, nice cloud shoes. Duh. My mom made them for me. All the other kids have cool name brand cloud shoes, but I get homemade. Oh, but don't tell her I said that. The shoe thing is all she's got. <laughs> Alright, so, um... How do you get to the eggs in the high nests? Oh, because I'm so short, you mean? No, I... Uh... I'm just messing with you. I have a ladder. Can I borrow it? Hey, can I borrow your ladder? Mm, okay. Huh, that's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise you, okay? True. That's what she said. Well, I'll leave well, you alone. I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. 
I'll bring this ladder right back. All I need is just what? It's extendable. What? Knife. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. Cool. So then I need to go over here. Nope, 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 nope. Then I just need to talk to Mrs. Ma'am up here with the cloud shoes, then I give her the knife, and then I give the boom boom. Look at this. Give her the knife. Then she makes me some cloud shoes. And then I go on with my merry old day. And then my cat needs to stop what she's doing. Say! That's some knife. Good balance, nice heft. Ooh, and a blood gutter. No, that's for the filling. The less I know about the knife's history, the better. <laughs> Here. Blood gutter. Thanks. Uh... I know, they're big, but you'll grow into them. Trust me, you hit 40 and you're going to be grateful for a pair of comfortable shoes like that. <laughs> she's saying she's 40. Alright, let's wear these. I can't get them to stay on my feet. Alright, so I need something else that will go with these to make them stay. It's over here. What's this thing? Looks like something's going on down this ladder. Well, that's not what I was talking about. I was talking about this thing, but let's go down the ladder then. Something's going on. Well, let's go down and see what's going on. What the hell is this? What the flabbergasted me? <laughs> Good one. Cookie smasher is this? So, uh, how's the view so, up there? So, uh, how's the view up there? I don't know. All I can see is my mother's disappointed face. <laughs> me. <laughs> I really, I really like, your like your outfit. Yeah, I liked it too. Not good enough, though, apparently. And on top of that, the shoes were too tight. Well, I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. That's the most sad thing I've ever heard. What if I give her these? Maybe a nice pair of comfortable shoes would help? Thanks, but I already have some shoes. They're not very comfortable. They're all I deserve. We could trade. Sweetheart. Hi. Hi. You say something about did shoes? you say something about shoes? Yeah, why? You need some? Take these. I don't need any. You sure you don't want these big old I'm gonna sit here forever. What are you, what are you doing here? down here? I'm an offering for the maiden's feast. You can't tell? Jeez, it's worse than I thought. No, 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 no. I was in a maiden's feast too. Just today, in fact. Oh, really? You didn't get picked either? Well, no, I got picked, but I put up a fight and got away. You... what? I just figured, why not fight the monster, you know? Yeah, right. He didn't get picked. That's okay. Pull up a swing and sulk with me, sister. I'll do that. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. I did get picked, though. That was me yesterday. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just I don't like really want to this did. stuff. I'm used to it. What if I do pull up a swing and... I don't like the way that one's looking at me. I'll just, I'll just believe what they thought. I didn't get picked. Let's just stick with that. Um... Oh, I can put on those shoes now. Yeah, um, let's do that. Nice and fit. Cool. So now I can just stand here forever. Um, oh, I know what to do. I can go get... Well, I'm dead. 
Hey, how's it going? What the hell just happened? Um... Alright, cool. Got me some nice cloud shoes. Hi. Hi. Hey, stop. Stay off the wall. So now I have a ladder and I can toss it up there. Hey, knock it off. Those hooks are an important safety feature. Sheesh, that was rude. Uh-oh, it sinks without the hooks. Jerk bird, this is all your fault. Okay, um, well. Nah, I don't want to lose them, even though they're too big for me. Oh, can I combine stuff? Ha! Get wrecked, bird! Carter was right. Turns out I am grateful for these shoes. Get wrecked. Hey, he's gonna throw it off. Big deal, bird. Like I even need hooks now. Haha. <laughs> Aha! Solid as a rock. Peekaboo. That's right. It's me, your worst nightmare. Hey, come back here and get your come up and on second thought, don't come back until you get some pants. Did she just stare at that bird's butt? Oh man, this thing is heavy. Good thing I have these cloud. I don't even think cloud shoes are enough for me right now. Cool. I figured it out. I I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured I fit. Has that bird always been there? I'm just chilling? Chilling like a villain? So we're not gonna talk about the bird that just came. Hey, how's it going? We're not gonna talk about the bird that literally just ran away from his nest. I hit my knee. You know, if uh, that bird wasn't a thing, then we would have some pretty big issues. Let's toss this I don't in that think ass. that will fool her. She is a mom, after all. So I need to figure out where hers went, right? So what I need to do is figure out where her egg went and then I can switch it out for this golden one. Hey bro. What's Please this? place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. It's empty. Yes. Whoa. Careful there. That thing's heavy. Whoa. Careful cool. there. That thing's heavy. I didn't even realize that was a thing. Oh, now I think I'm going to talk to Lightbeard. Alright, this this ladder is a bit... What the hell? This ladder slowly got weirder and weirder. Hey, dude. Hi. Hi. Oh, my. A fresh face rises from below. Before you ask, let me answer. Yes, you may live here in Marylock forever. Well, that's not what I want. Actually, I want to Actually, get off this. Actually, I just want to get off this cloud. Oh, I understand. You're quite mentally ill, aren't you? Have no fear. You've come to the right place. Um... Why do you have laces and a big bow on your butt? <coughs> Where's the big bow? Why do you have laces and a big bow on your cloud? Oh, why, well, you see, I exude such a powerful aura of lightness that has made these clouds hyperbuoyant. If I didn't lash them together, they'd fly away into the heavens. Um, I, I really, 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 really want, want to get, get off this cloud. cloud. Do you have any idea what would happen if people could just leave Maryloft whenever they felt like it? 
Marilof would, Marilof become, would become lighter? Hmm, hadn't thought of that. But no. Wait, is that Jack Black? Hold up. Everyone would leave? What? No! I could go kill Malchathra? What an offensive idea. No! People would become unenlightened. So because I care so much, we have the Whoop Suburdy Network to make escape. Does some kind of sound like Jack Black? Unenlightenment. Impossible. So can you help me kill Malchathra? Can you help me kill Malchathra? Ah! What a thing to say! Did you just lay that? No. It fell out of my pile of... I mean, it must have been... Pay no attention to that. <laughs> Pay no attention to that. Hey, you don't know hey are you done with that golden egg? That's mine! I might need it someday. Uh, I mean, take it away! I need it like a blue jay needs a bowling ball. Oops! Heads up for there! Oh! Okay, he's dead. Any idea where Jesse's egg went? Uh, losing objects is a natural Stop. step in the path to enlightenment. It's part of who we are in Maryland. He took it. It's in our roots. Do not fear it. Who are who you? Who are you? I am Harmony Lightbeard, the lifter of clouds. Why are you up so high? Why are you up here so high? I'm exactly as high up from Mariloft as Mariloft is from the forest below. To show that we're all equals. I don't get it. It'll start to make sense after a few weeks of meditation, my child. Thanks for the help. See you later. Be light, child. Yep. Anyways, that was kind of dumb. Waste of my time, really. Or for there. I think he's dead. <laughs> Didn't touch them. I swear. Didn't touch. Didn't touch the bow. Didn't touch the bow. I swear. That's sad. Mm. So I need one mm. more golden egg. So I need that guy's real egg. Where would it be though? <clears throat> That's the way to harmony in his beard. Maybe over here? No, I got the cloud shoes from over there. Got the cloud shoes from right there. I'm trying to figure out which trip, because I need to go that way. Right? I think I need to use a ladder to get up there. Oh. Hey, Harmony. Sorry, just passing through. I think her egg might be up here. This is the only direction I haven't gone yet. <clears throat> Man, that sign really did not do this thing justice. This looks awesome. Also, we need to go up here to go. Oh wait, there was somebody down here. Let's jump back down. Jump back down. There was somebody down there. Which way, uh... Is his name shit? Hey, hey, listen, I can explain. I was taking Jesse's egg for a cleaning and... Hey, wait, wait, who are you? Why would Jesse's egg need Why would Jesse's egg need cleaning anyway? Well, it, it didn't, but I needed the work credits to make up some hygiene demerits I got last week. Mind if I just squeeze past you? Yeah, that's a good idea. Come over here so I can grab on. No way. You're, You're in, in trouble, big trouble, young man. Oh, man, don't tell Harmony, okay? He already has an end for me. Why don't you just let go? 
Why don't you just let go? I'm 85% sure someone would catch you. I'm stuck! I'm caught on this branch and I can't reach back that far! So why are you really doing What are you really doing down here? I was just chasing some fruit that fell off that tree and I hit a weak spot in the clouds. Well, you hang in there, kid. Now just get over here, grab my underwear and unhook it from this branch. Sorry, I'm not going anywhere near your underwear. Come here and he help me. Hey. Great, now let me just climb under your shoulders. Quit it. <laughs> Ah! And I thought I was clumsy. Don't tell us, honey. Let's go tell Harmony, and then he'll figure out what to do. Oh, what if we tell shit where her, uh, I mean, what if we tell, uh, the bird where her egg is? Jesse, where her egg is? Hey, thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry I said you were part vulture. Hey, girl. Hey, hey, settle down. I'm going to find your missing egg for you, okay? Okay, let's go tell, uh, him. Where the egg is. Don't the birds tend the nest? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs, or get too fat, and then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't blow, stay afloat. Where'd her egg go? Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the cleaner code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty, and it wouldn't be the first time that oaf fell through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Loose beaks cause leaks. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Oh, oh, what if we go talk to that kid? Um... <coughs> What's his name? Uh. His name's missing an A, that's all. Hi. So, what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? Lightbeard's really serious about this lightness thing, isn't he? Oh yeah! People say he only eats feathers. Ick! But it's not true. Good. He only licks them. Gross. Yeah. Um, is there a way up this cloud? Hey, is there any way off this cloud? Think I'd be here if there were? We used to have a cool feather vader that went straight down to the forest below. But Harmony took it out. Why'd they take out the feather vader? Harmony decided that nobody had any reason to leave. Alright, well maybe I should just jump. Maybe I should just jump. Tried it, no good. Whoops, the birdie guards catch you and bring you back. What you need is a ladder, but it would have to be much taller than mine. What kind of bird lays those gold eggs? Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. Don't take this personally, bird, but I gotta get out of here. I think it has something to do with what your face down there soaking because she did a get eaten. Ooh. 
because I know that I just need to find a way past the guy, but I don't know what to do. How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. Kind of shabby looking for a maiden's feast. Hey, I can't help the way I look. No, no I, I mean the broken bird cages and feathers. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because the feast is over. Need help? Uh, Need help? Uh, cleaning up? Why bother? Well, it's just kind of a mess down here. So am I. That's why I like it. Jesus. If the feast is over, what are you doing here? Rub it in, why don't you? I'm still here because I didn't get picked, okay? Look on the bright side. You didn't get eaten by a monster. I'd rather do that than face my family right now. Who am I kidding? They probably already jumped off a cloud in shame by now. Nope. Look. I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're said. just going through that yeah. anger phase after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Back up then. I'm trying to think of what I can do. Hi, Birdie. Good Birdie. You birds want to help me kill Mabchathra? Maybe there's something I have to say to these guys that I haven't said yet? Can you Lightbeard. tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, chit. Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? Bully! No, son. Try again. Ariel. Jeez. Um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. So I need to go talk to Harmony. That's what it is. Okay. Because I don't remember what his name is. Or hers. Or I know that he's Chit. I'm guessing it's Chat. Brother. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Hi, are you? You may call me Fathur. Oh, yes, Fathur. excuse me, Father. No, Fathur. Like a light, beautiful feather. But lighter. Harmony gave me that name. It's quite an honor. So, what are you guarding here? What are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. So, you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy. So, you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy? Hey, there's no call for personal insults. Suppose that big ladder. I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. <sighs> Last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. I'll let you get back to work. Keep your head out of the clouds. <laughs> Jokes. Okay, let's go. Absurdity of this line. Hey, brother. I'm back.
Thanks for the help. See you later. Be light, child. Well, that was a waste of my time. I want my money back. You may take back any burden you wish. But it hurts you more than anybody. What's this? How do I get there? I can't figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh my god, I'm dumb. I just... I think he stole the egg. I don't think he truly was just a really good thing. Here you go, sweetheart. Boy, is this thing heavy. Hello. Now, let me explain. I didn't take... Oh, hey, you're welcome. Wasn't anything, really. This egg now? Cool. Bye. I got Jesse right back. You guys want these golden eggs back? No, we like to keep them spread out around Mariloft. Bring too many of those eggs to one location. And well, that's a lot of chit. No, come on. Duh, yolk. Pounds per... Pounds per square inch. Per Close. square inch. Correct. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Nope. Oh, yep. So now I just put it on that last one. It's gonna be like... Ooh. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Yep, that's the plan. Uh, hang on. Before you get on that ladder, I need to think about this cloud's weight limits. Bombs away! Hang on. Don't move. Bombs? If I don't hit a thing, then I'm dead. Be uh, like something soft. This is gonna go through their house. Oh God, it's happening! They're coming! I.
closer. Hi. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had feelings, okay? Um, I forgive you. Um, okay. I forgive you. Oh, really? Great. Hey, who are you? My name's Vela. What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry, I thought you were a tree. Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? What are they screaming at you? All kinds of really personal insults. Like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? If you're a word worker, could you make me something? Will you help me kill Magchathra? Sorry, conscientious objector. But I'm not using my axe. You're welcome to it. I Ooh, love you. Think I could kill Magchathra with that? Oh, well, <laughs> no. I really don't think anything could kill Magchathra. Um, could you make me something? So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Um, three more three wishes. Three more wishes. How about a nice three-legged stool? Hmm, yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. Listen, about that mess upstairs. Listen, about that big mess upstairs. Oh, did another tree fall on my roof? Uh, no, I fell out of the no, clouds. No, I fell out of the clouds and crashed into it a little. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees! Please don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? And when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. Well, thanks for telling me. Wait, east? Or was it west? Meh. Well, I hope it's east. I don't want to get eaten by an extremely territorial snake. Like, that just doesn't seem like my type of idea. I hope there's like a compass or something that will tell me which way to go. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Wait, is this east? West? Well... Hey! Uh, let go! Okay, so do not go that way. Got it. That was east. That's awesome. I'm just assuming from the way that she's, like, that's, this is her normal stance. So that means that if she's looking north, then that would, the way we just went would be east and this would be west. That's just simple little stuff. Holy crap, it's actually Okay, talking. now I see why the trees were freaking him out. It's trying to say something, but doesn't have a mouth. Oh, let's go get the let's go get the axe. Put these on. Okay, so let's go get the axe that way mouth and that way it can start talking to us and we can say something. Okay, let's go. Back up towards his house. Back there. Hey, bro. Sorry, I forgot to grab your axe. You using this axe? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay, then. So 
now we gotta go and cut the tree up. How long have I been recording? Oh, well, you know, just an hour. That's not bad. Alright, let's go back. Now we can give that axe, of, I mean the tree, a little bit of mouth to mouth. I have a feeling I might regret this. Oh, oh, murderer! Axe wielding psychopath, right here! Shh, shh, shh! You'll wake up the other trees! She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! Okay, look, I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! I'm losing sap! Murderer! Okay. Um... Why are you upset? Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren! It makes me sick! Okay, okay, um... You, you got, got a, a little something, something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural, and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. Um, can I have some of your hey, sap? Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up. But I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. Okay, okay, okay. I've never seen, I've a, talking never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding, murderous humans, so get lost! I've never cut down a tree in my life. Please don't scream anymore. Please don't scream anymore! You can't silence me! I'm going to wake up this whole forest! I'm here on behalf... Are you magic? Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchathra? Is that all you humans think about? Killing? You all make me want to puke. I'm here on behalf of Curtis, the Lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce, mining her own branches, then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a... Oh god, if I say it, I think I might be sick. Okay, say it. Say it! What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He... He butchered her! Turned her into a... A stool! Oh god, I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. I've got a ladder in my pocket. Bet that will make you barf for sure. Is it from Meriloft? They only use naturally fallen branches collected by their birds. See? It's possible to live in harmony with nature, you barbarian. Dang! Wait, yeah, I want a stool, so that way, yeah. Hello, Shell Mound. Looks like Mob Chathra hasn't gotten here yet. Cool. No, sir. You seem like you leave this place. Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that? Because you should, you should be, be a mayor. mayor. Young lady, I like the way you think. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people, for now. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it anyway. Did you say there might not Why be a not? Maiden's Feast? I think there should be. The sea, she is angry this day. 
I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away! Um... How about... Uh... There has to be a Maiden's Feast. I need to kill Magchathra. Yes, yes, we all want to fill Magchathra. But when he comes here and sees no offering arena, he might pass us by. Or worse. Um... Are you saying I smell bad? Are you saying I smell bad? No, oh, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. With a hint of fresh pie. Ooh, and a dangerous undernote of snake, I believe. Very nice. But that's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. Um, hey, about your bucket hat. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I have it? Can I have it? Certainly not. It's an integral part of my soon-to-be mayor look. Hey, about your bucket hat. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I... It looks terrible on you. Might cost you the election. Please, whom am I to trust? My highly paid stylist or a girl wearing half a dress? Um. Okay. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Okay, so I'm thinking we're going to end it here. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please hit that thumbs up and comment down below if you guys want more. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Uh, save too. Cool. Save it next. Desktop.